Uh, the Supreme Court decision on gun ownership last week raised concerns over states being able to manage policies that reduce violent crime. Then Congress passed legislation, which the president signed, imposing some gun control measures, though many would say they're small steps. So we'll start with you, Mr. Attorney General, and first with the Supreme Court decision, uh, which invalidated a New York law that was over 100 years old uh, on carrying a gun in public. How will that affect public safety in Minnesota and nationwide? Yeah, the Supreme Court has just made our city less safe. Uh, it's an outrageous decision, in my opinion, not well rooted in precedent at all. In fact, the, Supreme, the, the Second Amendment says a well-regulated uh, militia being necessary to secure the what state. What part of the Second Amendment is that in? Well, you know, <laughs> you know so they just they well, it's only the go. the first part. <laughs> there you go, the very first part. So it's really kind of amazing that the word regulation doesn't seem to have any place. In fact, it's even worse than the Heller decision, which is the one that said that a person can have a gun in their home. That one we could live with. But this one goes further. It's, I mean, it's outside the home. And, and, and our biggest problem, in my opinion, is the excess in, uh, accessibility and the proliferation of guns uh, to people who um, would, you know, which otherwise would settle it with a, with a fist fight or maybe a shouting match accelerates into a deadly outcome. I'm deeply disappointed. Um, and again, you know, I'll, I will admit the Supreme Court has had me reeling over the last few days, but uh, this one is one of those that's particularly dangerous for our town.